guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Valentine's Day is a fast approaching. So I decided to compile a few things together into a Valentine's gift guide for him and for her. Most of these items are unisex. However, if you have any other suggestions or any other ideas, then please do feel free to pop them in the comments below, share your ideas. And the first brand that I wanted to share with you, which has loads of products is a brand that I've worked with previously, a brand called Manscaped. So this is a gift for him. This is a gift to get your other half should they be in need of some new grooming tools. I feel like Manscaped is a great place to start. I feel like Manscaped as a brand is a real like sort of funny tongue in cheek kind of forward thinking brand that I am all about. I think it's genius. And Tom actually has some of their products already and he is loving them. So I'm gonna share with you a particular bundle which is called the Performance Package, which I think would be the perfect place to start, but I will leave a link in the description box which you can click through and look at the rest of their products that they have on their website. And if you do shop via that link, which is manscaped.com forward slash Freya Fountain, you do get 20% off and free shipping. So make sure to take advantage of that. This is their tagline and I'm not gonna say any more. That is exactly what I mean by the branding is just spot on. I absolutely love it. So this um, set actually includes this item here, which is called the Lawn Mower, a body groomer, which not only looks really nice, nice and minimal in design, just plain simple black, but they also use uh, what they call the skin safe technology, which avoids any kind of nicks and cuts. It does also have an inbuilt light that you can use and also a travel lock as well. You also get a little pack of these anti-chafe boxes, which you can pick and choose your size. And then also their products, two of their products included within here are the Crop Reviver and the Crop Preserver. So the formulations of all their products are 100% vegan, cruelty free. They are free from any kind of dye, sulfates, parabens. They do have so many more items to choose from as well. So again, don't forget to click that link in the description box to view the full range of their products. This one is another fave of mine. Again, the branding, the Weed Whacker, which is a nose and ear hair trimmer. Again, using skin safe technology with a replaceable blade, it's got a high power motor, cordless recharge, ergonomic design and waterproof and then also they have other sets like these which is the shears set including four piece central grooming kit and storage case and a hair and body cleanser wash as well so yeah i will leave a link to manscaped down below make sure to click through it in order to enable you to shop with the 20 percent off and the free shipping thank you to them for working with me on today's video and moving on to the next item that i want to share with you some kind of a game either a couple's game or a game that you can and play with other couples I think is a good fun idea. So I have a couple here that we have been loving. This one I picked up recently called Five Second Rule, the uncensored version. And then you've obviously got the usual Cards Against Humanity, but that's better in a group. Incoherent as well, you can play with two players. And I really wanna get my hands on the um, creators who did this game. They also created the what do you mean game they've also got a new one out i think but i don't know if it's only in america so far it's called let's get deep and it's kind of better suited to couples so if that is already available online i'll leave it linked down below another two games that i love are these which i got from i got these on amazon again if anything that i show in this video i'll try and link below if it's available but i got these from amazon they're the vintage bookshelf edition they are from america so there are a couple of differences within these games but i just love the aesthetic i love the look of them and essentially you get all the um, game included within a book looking box so you can have this sort of on a shelf and sit on a coffee table maybe i just love the look of those so much there's also a third one which is like a cluedo so if your budget is around the 30 to 50 pound mark there is a company online called established titles i think there's other companies that do it as well but essentially you can 
purchase the title of either lord or lady depending on who you're buying for and the way that it works is essentially you buy a plot of land which enables you to gain the title lord or lady which i think is a fun gift idea for buying for someone that person who seems to have everything and then if your budget's a little bit cheaper i think from around about the 15 pound mark you can actually name a star i remember doing this years and years ago for our family so you can actually purchase a star put your name to it and it's just like a nice thoughtful kind of gift it is of course valentine's if you're wanting to go a little bit more intimate lounge underwear which is one of my favorites have a new range of intimates underwear so they have some of the most beautiful uh, lace underwear especially from the intimates range which includes things like garter belts as well so you can go all out and you know how i love a good scratch card well on etsy you can actually purchase naughty scratch cards which will enable your other half to win like a massage or something so i say or something because it gets a little bit more intimate than just the massage this is something i've purchased for myself recently it's the from fujifilm the instax mini um i just thought this would be a fun idea to give as a gift because photos memories kind of thoughtful at the same time these aren't that cheap though if your budget's kind of around the 100 pound mark then zara home have these or you can buy these from like john lewis and then also you can pick up the um little mini films as well and you can obviously frame the polaroids too next up i thought about whether you do like a date night evening meal or an at-home brunch i know the um the restaurant coat coat brasier they do um coat at home i think it is dot com or dot co uk where you can go online and buy at-home kits that you can get delivered to your door you can set up a date day or date brunch date night however you want to do it and then with that maybe some kitchenware obviously heart themed so i've got a couple of bits from wilco's they do this uh, white company dupe these oven gloves and tea towel packs and then also from home bargains we've got the heart shaped bowls which you can pop like some strawberries in i did a date brunch in fact i i vlogged the whole of last valentine's day it's when we had little barney as a puppy which is so cute um but yeah i used these bowls and then also le creuset do these heart-shaped ramekins which we tend to do baked oats in for the morning or you could do a little apple crumble for dessert in there but yeah i love the idea of doing the coats at home if you're wanting like a date night in so obviously i've already mentioned the men's grooming but for her you could do a kind of pam pamper some kind of um indulgent kind of self-love gifts if you're a singleton treat yourself to a little self-gift self-care evening and within that you could include some of the following so i've got these gorgeous white company slippers which i got for christmas if you didn't pick up any slippers as a christmas gift this year then maybe now's the time to do so and white company have these in sale i believe i mean they've probably sold out by the time i'm uploading this video but if they are available i'll leave them linked you could include a journal within the hamper this is one of my faves the five minute journal which allows you to just do a little bit of reflecting every day and night i mean you don't have to do it every single day i definitely don't i just do this one on the odd occasion i have two other journals which i fill out every day this one's more of just an occasion one, but you can see the layout there of the pages. They follow the exact same layout every single day and you can date it yourself at the top. They even have little quotes and weekly challenges, like put your phone in a different room when going to sleep tonight. And then this quote from Stanley, no one has a perfect life. Everybody has something that they wish was not the way it is, which is so true. So that's a fave of mine. Also to include a candle within a pamper hamper is a lovely idea. And I've recently got these from the Wild Botanist. This is a new range that they've brought out on their website and the branding from the Wild Botanist is amazing, but also they smell fab too. So this particular range, they're like a travel kind of set whereby you've got uh, Panama to London, New Zealand to London, Peru to London. They all have the different kind of scents. This one's my favourite, the New Zealand to London one, Karanga, which has the scents, the notes, volcanic ash, kiwi and sweet rainwater. So this one, I've already burnt it a little bit. 
oh my god this smells so good it's real kind of that volcanic ash if you like the kind of ash and smoky kind of scent you'll love that one this one is peru to london peruvian gold coconibs vanilla and lima balsam so again this one has a real kind of like oh, spicy woody scent i love that one this one's a far more summery. This one's Panama to London with notes of papaya, white rum, and banana leaf. A much more kind of like exotic, fruitier kind of summery scent, that one. I know the White Company also have a heart-shaped soap, which you could include, maybe a face mask. You could book yourself and your other half a couple's massage, which we've done previously for Valentine's, which has been a lovely treat. Again, that we both benefit from. You could include their favorite yummy treats. I've seen on Etsy that you can get these candy grams, which is essentially like a poem or a phrase or a sentence, a little paragraph, which you include the chocolate bar to fill out the word. But again, that kind of DIY touch, I feel like of all the occasions, Valentine's is the one to do that. As always, jewelry makes a lovely gift, whether he wears it, she wears it, both of you wear it. But also I've picked up these jewelry stackers, which I thought would be a lovely gift idea to go with it with a jewellery item or even just if you usually buy jewellery but they've been after some storage. These are stackers. I know John Lewis do some stackers and more for sort of out on display. I personally use these as stackers within drawers. So I just have my jewellery kind of um, sectioned off into each individual section. This is one of my faves with the ring dividers. And then also you can obviously stack them but you can just have them within a drawer, which I do. I think I have them layered like once like so they do come in different colors i obviously just opted for the neutral kind of creamy stone color another thing that i'd love to do is go to the cinema so cinema tickets or if you're wanting a movie night in that you could create a little movie night hamper with some popcorn some treats some slippers some new pajamas one of them snuddy things like big hoodie blankets which are amazing i have two of them you could treat yourself to a purchase of a new release on amazon rather than just the free films go all out and something we did one year which was actually quite fun was to get one of those scratch off posters so we um got one with i think it was like the top 100 imbd movies so it was like classics some newer releases but it was good to kind of tick off and watch some classics that we'd never really seen before but heard of and another thing that i've seen advertised quite a lot across sort of instagram facebook youtube is the adventure challenge which you can buy online and i think they have a couple's edition at 39.99 which includes sort of date night ideas i have also from a year of dates which is a smaller business which they have a around the world edition whereby each card has a country and then something that you um like a date idea to do with that country a food to do with that country which you've got to eat it's just a really good concept whereby it kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone gives you ideas that you maybe wouldn't have ordinarily thought of and then those scratch posters also come in a map shape where you can scratch off places that you visited you can maybe get with it some kind of a travel journal i spotted this one in tk maxx rrp of 30 pounds this one but it was selling for just 6.99 so it's a good um, a little journal that you can keep for all the places that you visited as a couple. There's travel highlights in there, top four favourites, accommodation notes, must visits, next time if you if you were to go back, ratings and reviews. So it's just a nice little journal to kind of reflect and look back on. And it looks quite nice as well. Nice and simple, that one. It could even maybe be an introduction to the fact that you've got tickets to go somewhere. If you want to go all out and book a little mini staycation in the UK or a trip abroad. We've done a Valentine's trip abroad to Ireland before, to Dublin. That was really fun. In fact, that was our first ever Valentine's Day together. And then on Etsy as well, I've seen that you can get these personalized map prints, which are so thoughtful and so lovely. And you can get them created to exactly how you want, whether it be the first time you went on a date and a map of that location. So where you met or where you maybe got married or where you had your first kiss. There's loads of different ideas that you could do with that. But I just think that's a really thoughtful gift idea. Then next up is a lovely gift. This is actually, if you've seen my birthday vlog, quite a few of you asked what it was that Lydia bought me. I kind of briefly mentioned it, but I'll show you now. So one of the things that she got me was this photo frame. So I decided to print out some images. I went into Boots and this one is my favourite, but I'll ask Tom which one he likes and 
I can always switch out because I've got a few printed out. But I've got this one printed of me and Tom. This one's in black and white. I just love the kind of candid shot of us just looking at each other. It's all romantic and cheesy. But I, I, I like it. I think it's cute. I much prefer candid photos than like staged photos. So many photos that I've got of me and Tom when we first started dating that are just fully filtered up that if you've got them printed out, the coloring would just look off and far too bright and exposed. And yeah, I just think black and white is a good safe bet. Next up is a fail safe option of some kind of a fragrance. I've got two new ones recently that I thought I would share with you. This first one is from Erin. This one's Limon de Cecilia. It's a lemony kind of um, scent that I think is gonna be perfect for summer. So I've decided to keep this boxed up for then. I'm gonna use it as a summery or maybe even springtime scent as we're moving into spring. But this is another one that I picked up recently from Jo Malone, you'll have seen in my birthday vlog, myself and Lydia went for a appointment at Jo Malone, which was lovely. And we got spoiled with a new fragrance. So this one is unisex. All Jo Malone's fragrances are unisex, but this one is in bronze, wood and leather. So it is quite a masculine. It's also from the Cologne Intense range, which is just all the more intense i love it. it smells amazing okay next up is something from the asos brand collusion which is a unisex brand so i thought it'd be a nice idea to get something from the brand that you could be matching with your partner and this one is a hoodie that i picked up a quite a while ago now and tom loves it like every time i wear it he's like oh i love that hoodie <laughs> so um i probably should have got him i mean to be honest it is in a large so you could probably just share it anyway but it's got this kind of like teddy fleecy thing here but they create sweatshirts, hoodies, t-shirts, all sorts, beanies as well. You could be cute and matching on winter walks with a matching beanie hat. You could treat yourself to a couple of nights away with a buy a gift staycation, which allows you to pick and choose the dates. So if you're unsure on dates specifically for booking for your other half, then that one's got that flexibility. I also spotted this in HomeSense when I went in at $7.99 and I thought it would go quite nicely for the person who is a very practical person, a bit of a DIY lover. The Japa Chap nailed it six in one hammer and screwdriver set. I actually thought it looked really nice too. I feel like you can never go wrong with a gift card. And if you pick and choose their favorite shop and give them a gift card or an event gift card, an experience gift card, like a cinema gift card, some kind of active wear, cause they say couples that gym together stay together. No, couples that train together, stay together, is that the phrase? I don't know. Um, some nice active wear, I've got some leggings to show you. These are just my ultimate favorite. I always talk about these, they're the Lululemon Align pants. They do them in all sorts of colors and they do matching kind of sports bras as well. I know Gymshark is a really good brand for him and for her as well. Again, you could go for matching sets. And then a couple more DIY personal type ideas that I have spotted online are some kind of like reasons why I love you cards or gift jar where, where you can just pop things in or write individual cards and it's like open me when dot 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 you're feeling sad or I've gone away for the night or some kind of thing like that. You could even do little love coupons or date coupons where it's like this coupon titles you to me doing all your laundry for the day or me giving you a massage or me taking you out for a date one night. And then the last kind of DIY box that I think I might do for Tom this year, which I've spotted online is the being with you makes perfect sense box which you can do five gifts related to touch sight smell sound and taste so like taste for instance could be like a box of chocolates or a gift card for their favorite restaurant sight could be a theater tickets or that photo frame with a personalized photo with you both in smell could be aftershave or coffee capsules sound could be concert tickets or their favorite music album or something and then touch could be like a the couple's massage that kind of thing i hope that you've got some inspiration some ideas for what to get your other half of valentine's day if you do do gifts if you don't i hope you have a lovely day nonetheless 
And if you're single, then treat yourself this Valentine's. Spoil yourself rotten, go shopping, book yourself in for a massage, have a little pamper night at home. Whatever it is that you're doing for Valentine's Day, I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks again to Manscaped for very kindly working with me on today's video. And again, don't forget to click that link in the description box, which is manscaped.com forward slash Ray Farrington, which will get you the 20% off and free shipping. Any other suggestions of gift ideas that you think would make a great Valentine's Day gift for your other half, then pop them in the comments below. I'd love it if you would stick around and subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.